arm on the boat, on the boat. Here's the aft deck, the lazarette locker there, the mizzen mast, and I'm gonna we'll walk you up. Here's the centre cockpit here, and we'll walk you along the port side deck. got the Genoa down because I'm leaving the boat, hauling the boat out of the water tomorrow and I'll put it away. And there's the anchor windlass which is on, I can show you it operating. Foot button comes in, goes to down. There you go. Okay, coming down there. so you can see a lovely, beautiful foredeck lovely side decks and a beautiful off deck area. Okay, let's go into the cockpit. All right, sitting in the cockpit, I've got the awning up and the dodger up, but there's a new window in the front to let the breeze through. So we've got autopilot Control, hard to say, B and G Hydra pilot control there. The ignition engine on Beta Marine, so on there. And then, of course, the helm throttle control, central pedestal. Yeah, the cockpit, little cockpit locker here with the hot and cold shower mixer there, that, so you can rinse off after swimming or have a shower in the cockpit in privacy, hot shower. And then two more little cockpit lockers here with little bits and bobs stored in them. And then a massive cockpit locker that I've got to just show you here. Um, in there, that goes right down. In there I have got all seven fenders. I've got a spinnaker, I've got a working jib that's reefable down to storm jib, I've got a number three Genoa, as I said two bicycles, and then spare halyards, spinnaker sheets, guys, um, spare uh, Genoa sheets, etc, etc. That is a huge locker, two folding bicycles. Okay, so we'll come go into the aft cabin first. There is access from a tunnel corridor between, but also from the cockpit. So looking aft, there's a little porthole. Um, that's the support for the mizzen mast. And underneath these triangles is the steering quadrant. You've got a bunk to port to starboard and a bigger one to port, which is, well, it's a, it's a cosy double, but it's really single. And then those sliding lockers either side with, um, you can put suppliers or whatever. Then there's additional little locker in here, clothes, drawers, and a hanging locker. And another little locker underneath this little companionway. And of course, its own heads, which has a LEVAC, electric LEVAC. It's got um, lots of storage. And storage underneath the sink, which is actually full of spare parts boxes. Okay, there's and the mirror light. There is no shower in there, but it would be easy to do. Okay, walking through the crawl through, which is you have to stoop over to come into the main saloon. You've got the engine uh, access, main engine access on cent a cent center board, and then the starboard, you can't really see it, but they've got a battery bank. There's a whole 
There's not enough light, really. I'll try and put that light on. I don't know if that helps. You got a little central heating. Can, you can't really see. It's a bit dark there. Bright light everywhere else. Come, so, we've come through. Now I'm looking at the chart table, which has got radar, CD player, Fruno, um, Navtex, GPS, a battery monitor which shows that uh, we're actually charging um, 0.3, 0 0.4 of an amp, 0 0.2 of an amp because the wind with the windmill. This is the wind speed from the uh, wind instruments, 10 knots, 350, charging half an amp, VHF, and a simple switch panel. So I'm looking off now. That's the companionway ladder, the crawl through, and then on the port side you've got your galley. So chart table to starboard, galley to port. Two nice deep double sinks, a really fancy cooker that we treated ourselves to. It's the um, uh, Espas, all stainless steel, really, really good cooker. You've got great, and then you've got a fridge here, which is a 24 volt fridge system. You can see you've got plentiful supply of wine and various other things. You've got plates, glasses, cups, all in built in racks. There. And then you've got a very handy locker with cutlery. Solenoid switch here, which um, turns on the gas supply to the cooker and then under the here is the sink you've got more storage okay the main saloon looking at the main saloon so you've got a um, classic set of bookshelves outboard more cupboards outboard and nice folding table that can folds up down. Um, that could be a berth in the port side, but we've used it for a general storage of vegetables. I've got a big pressure cooker that we've put there, and so on and so forth. And further forward, I've got a life raft in a valise, having very nearly lost the main life raft on deck in rough weather. I concluded that it's safer to have the life raft down below. Um, there, if you have it on deck, you need to have it extremely well attached. Um, so that's the mast coming through, walking forward. So we've got the four cabin, double four cabin. Before that, a loo heads with shower that is the handle of the um, that you put, pull over your head and then it's got drains into its own sump that you pump out and then the full cabin is a V berth which um, there you go and then we've got the chain locker underneath there you don't need to stack the chain it all self stacks and then you've got two nice little clothes lockers up there. And the uh, remote windlass control unit I can show you. Well, it's all full of clothes. I won't bother now. Um, and we've got hanging locker. You can't see it's too dark. Hanging lockers on the starboard side. Um, the engine access is here underneath. It's very good access on that, through in there. You, that whole thing comes out, the steps come out as well and if you empty the cockpit locker there's a hatch there so you've got three-way access to the engine um, and there's a Beta Marine 50 horsepower that was new in 2002 I think and we have done 1786 hours